fans on their feet. 14-12, give that point there to Kerry Evans. Good dink. Nice stop by Tori Fowler. Shannon Sanford with a great save. Oh, I'm getting too tense right now. I can barely sit still here. <laughs> nice save there by Tammy Dietz. Good jump by Jenny Cook. St. Thomas continuing. They're keeping their hopes alive. Oh, that point going to St. Thomas. But you can see, Jen, with every touch of the ball, each team just so nervous about hitting it too hard, too soft. Very delicate uh, touch. They look like a like a, a group of ballet dancers out on the court. And they're chanting UWP as this could uh, sew up the match here. Right, oh, very oh. close. Nice save by Paula Hakowski. The crowd growing quiet. There we go. Tied we got back a tie up. ball game. Brian, of course, you've got to win by two in this match. I think what you just saw is Platteville, when they when they, they got their 14th point, they became uh, they weren't as aggressive as they were throughout this uh, rally set. They were getting a little tentative, hoping that basically they're hoping for St. Thomas to make the mistake, but they weren't getting aggressive. Whereas St. Thomas, they were at first be a little tentative because they know if they screw up their season is finished, but they are also hustling uh, a lot out on them and making a lot of nice uh, game-saving hits and bumps, and that time picking up the point, making it tied at 14. So now they they have a, a, at least one point to rest, I should say, you know, with the tied up, you have to win by two. And I'm just noticing now, Dave Oren seems to be relatively calm for the, the situation that his team is in right now. Well, he's been in this before, being this his sixth uh, consecutive tournament he's been in. Jenny Cook up on the kill. Nice hit by Penny Thompson. That's it's long. That's long. 15 to 14, of course. They've got to win by two in this situation, Brian. And Tammy who do Dietz. we have? Tammy, Tammy Dietz, Dietz on the serve, and I think we've seen her strong all year, and this would be just incredible for her if she could get this point. She's a senior. This is her last game. And Penny Thompson keeps uh, St. Thomas's hopes alive. It's tied back at 15 apiece. You have to win by two. You have to, uh, either team has to get to 17 points right now. Nice serve there by St. Thomas. Jenny Cook, nice hit. Good save by Paula Hukowski. Penny Thompson going with the power. Now St. Thomas has the one point lead right now, 16 to 15. This is uh, incredibly oh. exciting, Brian. Very exciting game, very exciting game five. 16 This could 15. be it. Good set. Nice one. That's on the line. Yes. Yeah, right, oh. in, right on the line. Oh, the point my goes Lord. to Platteville. I'm going to have a heart attack after this one. <laughs> this is uh, just an exciting. I can't. We've already, I think, gone through all the adjectives we can for this game. Exciting, Fact. phenomenal, fantastic, outrageous. It's I'm just gonna, great. I'm I can't gonna, explain it. I'm going to need my Pepto Bismol <laughs> after this game. That one fell in. Right on the line. Right on the line. And now, Score 16 17. This is probably one of the highest gaming. Go highest scoring games that uh, this field house has seen in a while. Good set by Shannon. Carrie Evans, nice dig. Right, oh, right Back on. and forth. It's, it's like when the team that has the one point lead, they don't want to make the mistake. And they're basically hoping for the other team to make the mistake so they can pick up their win and go home. But uh, both teams, the ones that are behind, Platteville being this one for the last couple of points, they haven't, they've been more aggressive this time around. I should mention to you, Brian, the refs for this game, the uh, NCAA referees that they've got are, have just been really super. They're, uh, they're enjoying it, and I think that they're appreciating the ladies' abilities too tonight. A nice save nice by Nice save by Tammy. Beats. Good job, nice Tori Fowler! That's where the power for the Platteville team is paying off, right here, and that's what we're seeing. This is so exciting. 18 to 17. That's that one point again. We've said it time and time again. One point away. This is a nail biter, Brian, I tell ya. And there we go, back to a tie. And that was a good uh, set by Allison Welch. 
setting up for Paula Akowski on the kill, an 18 apiece right now. You can't ask for a more exciting match. Tori Fowler with another power nice kill. Power. Yes. I can't say enough, Brian. We've seen more power hits in this last game, and I think that really shows you what Platteville is all about. When the power and the pressure is on, they really, I mean, they're going to play their hardest, and they're going to do their best to get that point. Good save by Lisa Carber. Good set for Tori. Nice dink. Good save again by Allison Welch. A little bit too far. Nice yes. dink. Oh, it's still in play. She keeps it in play for Paula Kowski. Nice. Nice save. Nice dink by Tammy. Tori going for the dink over in the back. Allison Welch setting up for Paula Kowski again off the net. Nice save back again. Into Lisa Carber. Follow for the kill. Won't go. Won't go. Allison Welch, good setup. Hukowski blocked off the net. That's it. No. Oh, oh, that was so We close. have a touch. One of the refs says we have a touch. We're going to have a little conference think, here by the ref. He made the call. I think they're going to give it to St. Thomas. I think they can't. I don't think you're going to see him give it to Platteville. Not on this last point. You don't want to have the referees making the decision. You don't want to have the referees making the decision. I think it's going to it's going to go to St. Thomas. You're going to see it go to Tammy St. Thomas. Tammy Beats up there to uh, just, consult a little bit here. Big, they're just telling the re it's going to the, the referees aren't going to make that decision on the final game and the final point of this five game set. And I don't want to see it that way either. You want to see the team earn it. So now it's 19 again tied to 19, up. Brian. This is a close game. I don't think we've ever seen this go into. Uh, such overtime, so to speak. Oh, it's a great tournament right there. Now the power kill by Tori Fowler. Tori Fowler is certainly shining through in this last couple minutes of this ball game here. She's had four kills to either get a side out or pick up a point for Platteville. They're now with the 20 to 19 lead. Penny Thompson, nice power hit. Fowler picking it up. Set up by Sadler. Nice dink by Jenny Cook. Allison Welch setting it up for Hukowski. Blocked in the net and again going back to St. Thomas. How can how, how many times can we say this over again, Jen? <laughs> Tournament time and both teams are just showing how good they are and why they deserve to be in this tournament. I mean, no doubt about it, these teams are a couple of the nation's best. Looking through the stats here, Brian, I don't think that we've seen a game go 20-20 here. I don't think uh, <laughs> either of these teams have been involved this year, especially. Nice by Patty Lamb. Right it's there. in! It's in by Patty Lamb! You can just see the adrenaline pumping through the, the Platteville side here. They are just intense, and the refs, too, are just, they're loving it. We're you all loving it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. That was a great kill. Patty Lamb is pumped up, and now she's got to sit down, and it's like, you're all jittery. You want to stay in the game. And again, 21-20, Platteville with the advantage. Paula Kuski into the net, and it's, it goes back to St. 21 Thomas. 21 21 Brian. <laughs> uh, I think we, no we're, we're like a broken record, Jen. <laughs> we're just repeating the same stuff. Uh, uh, and what can you say? It's more like let them play and uh, wait for the outcome, but I can't. This is too exciting. Nice set. Good dink by Tammy Dietz. Allison Welch setting up for Penny Thompson. Nice block it by Carrie Evans. Tammy Dietz putting it off. We've got a net violation, though. Yep, they're calling it net violation. They called uh, Tammy for over the net. And now, right now, St. Thomas has the one point advantage 22 to 21. Platteville fans rallying behind their team. You can hear them in the background. This is a phenomenal game. And on that service point, St. Thomas wins 23 to 21. What an exciting game five, though. No doubt. And I mean, what can you say, Jen? I mean, this game was awesome. It went the distance, and not only the distance, but in uh, extra innings, overtime, whatever you want to call. And uh, Platteville Pioneers, they can hold their heads high. They can be proud of their accomplishment. That's they end right. the season 39 and three, Jen. And uh, what can you say? I mean, Certainly just what a by, great season. By no means did they not play their hardest. I mean, if anything, I know they're disappointed, Brian, but you can't help but feel proud of 21-23. Oh. That's an incredible, incredible game, especially for tournament. That's just. Well, look, I mean, you're in this, you're in a tournament. You go five sets. That's what uh, you go a five set match, and that's what you want to see. This, 
Both these teams, of course, well deserving to be in this tournament. And this is what you like to see. This is come tournament time. You want to see the best out of both teams. And we saw that going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, for those final eight, eight uh, 16, well, 16 points total. And to have that happen, what a, just a great accomplishment on this team, 39 and three. Very proud of this squad. You have nothing to say negative about them no. and nothing at all. I mean, they have to be very proud about it right now and I have nothing else to say. I think we've kind of reiterated just what their season let's, ended up uh, to be. Let's go over some of those scores for uh, the games here. We had the first game with 15-11 going to St. Thomas. The second game 15-8 going to Platteville and uh, the third game 15-9 was the score for that and that went to St. Thomas. Uh, the fourth game then was uh, 15 to nine as well? I think no. 15, 12. 15, 12. In favor of Platteville. And then of course this last and final game, 21 to 23. And what can you say? An I think incredible we've, game. And, incredible and of game. course it was uh, in favor of St. Thomas, but. Uh, St. Thomas moves on. They play Washington University at St. Louis. Platteville, they, they go home. 39 and three, a very successful season. What else can you say? It's a tribute to, uh, it's, you hate to see uh, the seniors go away on a loss, but uh, those four seniors, Tammy Dietz, Lisa Carberg, Tori Fowler, and Shannon Sanford, very proud of their accomplishment. They made it in the tournament this year for the first time in nine years, they get Platteville in the tournament. And they also won the first in school history, their first WWIAC conference crown, undefeated season. What a tribute to them. I have nothing more to say than uh, good positive things about this volleyball program. Program, and you're going to see a good, young, tough squad coming up for next season for Platteville. All right, thanks, Brian. And uh, wrapping it up for TV5, I'm Jen Meyer. With me was Brian Dolan. An exciting game here at Williams Fieldhouse tonight. Excellent, excellent play on both sides. The St. Thomas against Platteville. Good night.